Hi guys, so today uh, I'm going to show to you guys how can I use spreadsheet in Excel. Um, hi guys, so today I'm going to demonstrate to you guys how can I use Excel to um, get some of the results we want out of. Hi guys, uh, thank you for watching my video. So today what I'm going to demonstrate to you guys is how I can use Excel and particularly the features of Excel to get some results I want out of it. Okay, so you can look at this spreadsheet here and this spreadsheet shows the dates. Okay, it runs from um, 2013 to to 2016 September 30th okay so I have about um, 1219 rows okay I have a lot of uh, data here and let me go back to the top so you can look at column B here so column A is the date which runs from 2013 to 2016 and let's look at column B now so column B says are uh, my F and B expenses, which means my food and beverage expenses uh, from 2013 to 2016. So I have been recording my expenses from 2013 to 2016. Okay, you guys can do the same. So uh, you can track your own expenses. So over here, so I have also uh, tracked my transportation expenses. Uh, for this period and I put another column D here which is others um, why I need that because besides uh, food and beverage and transportation I guess some of you guys might have uh, other expenses and actually you can uh, add in other columns which you might find uh, suitable to your own needs okay so over here so without further ado let me use um, a function a summation function in Excel to calculate the total expenses for this for this particular date which is 1st June 2013 okay so you can also add in some comment so how much you spend on uh, drinks so I spent $50 on drinks and uh, 120 on soya milk and three dollar on ban mian and one dollar on an on an ice cream okay so actually you can also add in the comment and you might be wondering where can I add in the comments so actually you can just let's say uh, over here uh, my transportation cost is six dollars and I went to Ang Mo Kyu and Topayo and Bugis so these are the places uh, in Singapore so uh, if you don't know about them, that's fine. So let's move on. So let's move on. How can I add in comment? So basically, you just go to data. Okay. Uh, no, it's not in data. Let me check. For some time, I have not been using uh, this feature, adding in comment. So let me see. Where can I add comment? Hmm. Data and uh, review. Ah, uh, yeah. So it's under review and new comment. So basically, you can add in the comment. Say, uh, there is nothing here. Okay. So, so once you add in the comment, you once you point to it, it will show you the comment. If you don't point to it, it will disappear. Okay. So, um, let me, uh, sum up expenses for for this uh, first of June 2013 so basically what you need to do is you put an equal sign and the sum function will come up if you type sum so bracket after that you you want to sum up your F and B transportation and others right so basically you just highlight these three columns okay so once you highlight it so you close the bracket and press enter so basically you have 
all these three expenses sum up then after that you must be wondering how can I um, minimize my workload while I can sum up all the expenses for each particular date here so since I have been recording uh, from 2013 to 2016 so it's, it will be a huge workload if I am going to use this uh, function here at one by one right so it doesn't make sense so in Excel there is a very good feature what you need to do you just click on this cell after that come to the the, the right bottom corner and you must see this plus you must see this plus uh, symbol appear and then after that you double click I mean double left click and then you will see everything appeared from 2013 to 2016 so let's double check so to make sure that you have everything add up so yeah so I have things add up um, from 2013 to 2016 and and you can see that some of the rows are are not filled up that's why you don't get the total sum up okay so as long as you track your expenses and fill up your expenses in each uh, in each cell and this uh, summation function will help you add up your expenses and if you don't have data for that particular day uh, let's talk about this 20 23rd July 2016 so I don't have data for FMB I don't have data for transportation and I don't have data for others that's why if I sum it up I get nothing out of it so the point here is as long as you track your expenses and fill up every cell and you will get everything sum up okay so let's move back up okay so once you have these total expenses add up right so of course you can do many things to this um, this set of data okay and the, the, the thing is what I want to show you is um, instead of um, instead of looking at the data like this this can be good enough but some of the people they want to play with the data actually what they do is so they will um, select the entire set of data and then after that they will go to insert and use the feature called pivot table so over here it asks you to select a table or range so basically this is the table of data you want to select okay so once you have selected the table or range so you you can actually show this pivot table on a new worksheet or you can show it right next to this this table of data so which I'm going to do I will show the pivot table right next to this table of data so that's why I choose existing worksheet and then I point they ask you for the location so I point it right next to this table of data and I press OK so you will see that there is a pivot table here without any data okay so what you need to do is you should see a pivot table fields on the right here so look at my cursor here so what you need to do is so you want to see the dates so you put it in the rows okay so you see all the dates here so it looks uh, similar to the first column of A and you must be wondering how powerful this is right so I will show you later and you don't want to look at your FMB transportation and others individually instead you want to look at the total expenses therefore you put it in the values and you can see that over here it gives you the sum of the total expenses which is what you want okay so basically from this pivot table you have reduced the data into dates and sum of total expenses for each particular date and that is not powerful enough right why because this table is nothing but this entire table without column B column C and column D right so it's nothing powerful therefore what I'm going to show you I hope it really surprise you in a big way okay so let me click on one of the cell and actually from here you can group them so basically 
from 2013 and 20 to 2016, you can group this set of data by month or by year. So let's take a look at it. Let, let's assume that I want to group it by year and month. So I will click on the year and the month and I click OK. So you see how powerful it is. So you can see that from 2013, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, actually the data is already grouped. So basically what you get is, let's go to a particular month of a year. So let's go to um, January 2016. Actually, you can see that I spent a total of $216 on in January of 2016. Okay, so I hope this is very helpful to you. Be why? Because some of the times you want to look at uh, your expenses for a particular month then after that this is if this is not powerful enough you, what you can do is you can actually group the data by year okay so right click group so unclick the months so you get the year so basically you can see that uh, your total expenses for each year and then after that mm, you can actually uh, highlight the cells and you can insert um, you can insert some graph to show that um, the trend so actually um, for this example uh, 2013 I spent 4596.4 dollars and the subsequent year I spent slightly more and then you will see that it declines from 2014 and it declined from 2015 and the reason being I don't track my expenses in 2016 good enough why because as we can go to 2016 so you see all the cells in 2014 is filled okay so while well, you can also op you can observe that um, let me go to 2016 okay so you can see that uh, loss of sales in 2016 is not filled that's why uh, the, the data in 2016 is not so accurate so uh, but let's go back to the period table okay so you can see the trend over here I spent about um, I will say if you want to take the average of the three so you can also use this function so equal sign average so you want the average of these three years, right? 2013, 14, and 15. So, so I spent about $5,000 per year. And then um, this is the data I have for my expenses. So I hope you have learned something from this video and uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, see you again. Bye.